what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Steve Harvey, who recently spoke with The Hollywood Reporter about his career as a comedian and TV host, spoke about both personal and political experiences over the years and how his meeting with Donald Trump made for one that brings him regrets. The meeting raised eyebrows from fans and critics alike. He said, I didn't see that coming. Jesus, it was vicious. I was being called names that I had never been called before. Uncle Tom, Sellout, Coon. Yeah, right. You know damn well he's been called those names before and he's heard people call him those names loud and clear because he fit every last one of those descriptions. Throw in buck dancing for extra measure. Check it out, y'all. Steve Harvey said that he first met with Trump after he said his business partner received the call from the Obama transition team. The transition team said that Trump's transition team wanted to meet with him. Now, this is happening at the same time that, around the same time that Steve Harvey has a birthday party going on on a boat. So the wife, Major Reed, tells him, look, don't go. You can meet with him some other time. You need to focus on your birthday. Got something special for you later on. <laughs> anyway, so he ignored her advice. He ignored her advice and decided to go meet with Donald Trump anyway. You know why? Because he's a media whore. He wanted to be seen. He was trying to get a photo op. Keep in mind, y'all, he was lobbying for Hillary Clinton. Then when Donald Trump get in, all of a sudden, Donald Trump is our man. We need to get behind him. Showing off. What he thought, he thought he had his constituents under so much of a spell that he could go and meet somebody as despicable as Donald Trump, who obviously hates the black community, who has done everything in his power to discredit the black community any chance he had, even discrediting and trying to ridicule or constantly ridiculing our first black president. And he only did it, you know, the only reason why he did that was because Barack Obama was black. He never called in a birthing issue with all of those past presidents. He's never rolled a president as much as he did, criticized a president as much as he did Barack Obama. And we all know most, most, most of his criticism, almost all of it was unfounded. He was just throwing stuff out his ass because he didn't like the fact that it was a black man that was at the top in leadership. He didn't like that. He didn't like that at all. So he went out to Barack Obama. And he, in fact, he made it a career of going out to Barack Obama for eight years straight. So now he's crying foul because people won't let up off of him. People won't get off that gas. So he credits his wife for at least trying to advise him to not go see Donald Trump. And he says that he met with Ben Carson the head of a uh, hood, you know, Donald Trump, you know, that was one of his hand-picked little uh, minions that he, uh, little nigglets, he placed around and said, here, here you go, here you go, and allowed him to have some sort of position, even though he had zero experience and we had so many more people that qualified, that was way more qualified to lead her than him, but 
He picked somebody that he could control. He picked somebody that he knew that didn't give a damn about the inner city. He picked somebody that could help him steal all the money and uh, redirect the funds. Don't be surprised if Steve Harvey gets some funds redirected to him some kind of way. I don't trust him. So when he's trying to give his wife all these props to really just make her look good, saying that he should have taken her advice, what he's really trying to say, I guess, is that he wanted to act like a man and think like a woman. See, let me tell you something about this dude. From Donald Trump down to Ben Carson, down to Steve Harvey, none of them, not one, is qualified to be running hood or have any type of influence over how hood is maintained. Let me tell you something, man. This dude said that he spoke with Ben Carson to talk about how they could direct funds for closed schools to some type of STEM program where since these schools are closed down, they can reopen these schools and use these schools for vision centers and they could teach computer learning and they could teach coding and things of that nature. Now that sounds good. All that sounds good. The only problem with that is that that's not even in the government's power to do so. That's not in the federal government's power to do so. That's a local school district issue. It was the local school districts that closed those schools down and continuing to close those schools down, not the federal government. So that's who he should be working with. But again, y'all, it's the blind leading the blind. None of them know what the hell they're doing. There are people way more qualified to run hood than any of them. All of them straight up idiots. Now, notice how he tried to pump his wife up, try to make his wife look good. That's game. Read between the lines. The wife said, it's your birthday, time to celebrate. You can meet with the president anytime. You can go over there and meet with him anytime. Get that photo out. Now, another thing. This wife he got. This chick is always on Instagram, flashing, acting like she's some type of model, you know, like she living, trying to get back those glory days, posted up in front of cars, you know, you don't see Zuckerberg wife posted up in front of cars, all on Instagram, showing off of his wardrobe. You don't see Bill Gates wife posted up on Instagram, all in front of cars, showing off her wardrobe. What's that about? Y'all keep in mind, this woman, man, she a Memphis trap queen. You know, rumor heard something about she dated two dudes who were related. Two drug dealer dudes who were related. She a trap queen. Got, got rid of one. When she stopped dating one, she hooked up with his relative. That's the, that's the chick he married. He trying to walk her around like she Dr. Phil wife. <laughs> and I don't know too much what to say about her either. Let me do a little background on her. But anyway, don't be fooled, man. Don't don't let the smooth taste fool you. The dude is the dude is trash. Steve Harvey ain't never had any intentions on working to build nothing for nobody except himself. It's the same dude who put the mother of his children out into the streets. Y'all trust that dude? Y'all trust that? 
you got two old dudes, Steve Harvey and Jim Brown. Two old dudes that are stars, but starstruck. Running up there, kissing up the Donald Trump, trying to take a picture. Shame, shame, shame. Steve Harvey tried to come off as this spiritual leader, this religious guy. I'm not buying it. I still haven't forgotten what you did to Bernie Mac. For that, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what the maid is talking about. Yeah. Florida, Texas.